one of the last major concepts of, of electrochemistry is, is electroplating and reduction. It's a simple equation, all said and done, that mass is equal to current times time times molar mass over NF. Or rearranged, it is mass over molar mass times NF over current or you can exchange current for time. Just rearranging these equations. Now, most times you will not be given an equation like this, but if you look at your units, you can easily determine what the units should be. I'm gonna go with the nickel, nickel two plus. I want to electroplate nickel two plus. If I asked how much nickel two plus could be electroplated with a current of 13 amps and a time period of two hours. I need to know that what is the N and what is our molar mass? Well, the N is we're going from two plus to zero. So N is gonna be two and molar mass we can simply find from the Periodic table, nickel is, look here, 58. I think that's 693. I'm going to say 58.7. 58.7. This is one of those times where units really paying attention to the units. The only tricky part is that amp is a coulomb per second. Amp is a coulomb per second. So 13. Coulombs per second. We gonna that means we have to turn our time into minutes and uh, to seconds. So two times sixty means we have one hundred twenty minutes. Times another sixty means we have seventy two hundred seconds. Now here's where we get. Here's where the units make sense. Our Faraday's is nine, six, four, eight, five coulombs per mole electrons. Coulombs and coulombs. N is the moles of electron per mole of nickel. And then our molar mass, 58.7, is the grams of nickel in one mole of nickel. So if we're looking, all of our units are slowly canceling each other out till we leave ourselves with a mass of nickel. So our equation is derived from that. So 13 times 7,200 divided by our N, divided by our F, and multiplied by our molar mass. How much nickel could be electroplated in two hours at a, a voltage a current of 13 coulombs per second would get 28.5, we'll say 28.5 grams. If I want to know, let's go, how much, let's see, make, make another one real quick. How much, uh, lead four, how much lead four can be electroplated? Well, how long does it take to electroplate 10 grams of lead four at a rate voltage uh, current of five amps? So what's our time? Well, in this case, our N is four because we have to go from four plus to zero. Our molar mass of lead is our molar mass of lead is 207.2. We arrange that. So if I want 10 grams, we have 207.2 grams per one mole. And one mole, we need four moles of electrons. For every one mole of electron, 
that has a volt a coulombic charge of 96.85 coulombs. And our current, as I said before, was five coulombs per second or five amps. So that'll give me a unit of time. So 10 divided by our molar mass times four times nine, six, four, eight, five divided by five amps would give us a really large time. Three, seven, two, five seconds. Typically you'd turn that into minutes. That's 62 minutes. So that's 62 minutes. I could turn that to hours, but 62 minutes is probably good enough. But that's the E cell.